team's efforts here at Attica Raceway Park. What do you say, Attica Raceway Park? Bumping on a group pick struck for the infield. 30 laps. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages here at Attica Raceway Park, it's time to get dirty for 30. Grandma's final of the inside. Colt slides up in front of Colt Macedo with the lead. Macedo crosses over. Takes the lead into three and four. Trey Jacobs on the bottom of the racetrack. Craig there as well, side by side. Will spins the floor out of turn four. Cole Macedo to the cushion. Now he pulls away from Travis Philo. Craig Jacobs in that third spot. DJ Foos fourth. Jordan Ryan, your top five. And Jordan Ryan, your fifth place car, spins in turn two to bring out the caution. Colt Macedo looking for win number three here at Attica Raceway Park. I believe it means 10th checkered flag of the 2022 season. Leads the charge. Down the front stretch, Green back out. Macedo, man, on a mission, pulling away already from Travis Philo. Macedo, the 18 car, a rocket ship. Philo in second, Trey Jacobs third, DJ Foos fourth. Stuart Brubaker continues to run your top five. Macedo going to catch the back of the pack already as we complete lap number five. It's going to encounter heavy lap traffic though here in another couple laps for Cole Macedo. Good battle for the sixth spot. Darren Knight in the 7N, Greg Wilson in the 97, and Tyler Rankin in the 16C. Heavy lap traffic now for your leader. Macedo patiently picks them off one at a time. Travis Finals is going to have his hands full with the three J of Trey Jacobs though for that runner-up spot. Macedo blasting through the lap traffic. Big lead over Travis Final, Trey Jacobs, DJ Foose, Stuart Brubaker. Up to six now, Greg Wilson. Seventh, Darren Nida. Eighth, Tyler Rankin. Ninth, Ricky Peterson and Corbin Gurley, your top ten. Colt Macedo has lapped up to the 12th place car with 14 laps in. We aren't even halfway home yet. Seven to the rookie, Darren Nida. 
Green back out. lead. Buzzes the cushion off of turn four. Stuart Brubaker challenges DJ Boost for that four spot. Second lead for Cole Macedo as Trey Jacobs moves into the second spot. Ten laps to go. is coming. He's cut a second and a half. Somebody's off the high side of turn number four. Yellow, 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 yellow. Get around the 18. Right foot to the floor. Green out. Messina right to the cushion again. Jacobs likes that bottom groove in one and two. Red flag off of turn two. Thomas Schinderly upside down in turn two. Bomacito on the loud pedal out of turn four. We're back to racing. Macedo buzzes the cushion again in one and two. Pulls away from Trey Jacobs. Here comes Travis Philo. Big run to the inside of Jacobs. Slider in three and four for second. Jacobs again down the bottom of the racetrack. Clear track for Colt Macedo. He pulls away once again. What a race for second. Trey Jacobs and Travis Philo duking it out. Five flanges in the air. Five to go for Colt Macedo. lead down the back stretch for Cole Macedo. Now DJ Bruce challenges Trey Jacobs for that runner or for the third spot. Three to go this time by the strike for Cole Macedo. Jordan Ryan after his opening lap spin up into the seventh spot. White flag in the air for Colt Macedo. DJ Foos into the third spot. Out of turn four. His third win of the season here at Attica for Cole Macedo. Travis Milo will come home second. DJ Foos third. Trey Jacobs fourth. Still for the year top five. Out of the car going up top. Make some noise for Cole Macedo. Wow, this thing was incredible. Yeah, we, uh, we've we been struggling here a little bit this year. I, I know I've said it before, and, and uh, Steven's been really working hard and, and getting this thing right. Uh, you know, there, I seen the 3G, or the 3J in second, 
And I was getting a little worried. He, you know, most of the races he wins is on the bottom. So uh, I was having some, uh, some, some tough calls there under the caution flag and, and uh, you know, trying to decide what I wanted to do. And I finally just said, I'm just going to commit to the top and, and uh, make it work. So I just kept playing my wing there, getting me, then it would get me tight, then it would get me free. And I, I really didn't know what to do. But I think those last eight laps, I told myself all I had was a heat race left. So um, I think those last eight laps, you know, I feel like I put together some good laps, and, and luckily we got the job done. This year, it, you've opened a lot of eyes, and it's given you some opportunities. You got to go to the Knoxville Nationals. You got to drive Alex Bowman's car with the All-Stars this week. Uh, it, good things happen when you're going fast, and you're going fast right now. Yeah, definitely. I feel like, uh, you know, to get to the next level, you just got to win races. I feel like, uh, you know, winning races is the, is the cure to a lot of things. So, uh, luckily, we've been able to do that this year. You know, my team is uh, such a great team. You know, Ray Brooks being my car owner, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to race for anybody better. And, and uh, Mike, Steven, Cody, um, Sam, you know, Bre uh, Jason, you know, there's a tons of crew guys here. It's hard to name them all, but, uh, man, we, it's, uh, we got a great group of people here, and I can't thank each and every one of them enough. You know, we got some great sponsors also. Um, you know, the Durst family, uh, CK Mechanical, Gill Construction, uh, Linder's Speed Equipment, Pro Shocks, uh, K1, Bell, uh, I know I'm forgetting a bunch here, but uh, uh, CIC Club, uh, you know, CK Mechanical, all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I just can't thank each and every one of these guys enough and uh, glad to pick off our 10th win of the year here. Comacito gets it done for the third time this season at Attica Raceway Park.